What is biomagnification? Hello students, welcome to Great Booster. In this video, we are going to see what is biomagnification. We all know that bacteria, viruses and insects attack the plants quite often. If these pests and insects are not controlled, they make the plants weak and sometimes they may kill the plants. That is why in agricultural fields, plants are sprayed with chemical pesticides and insecticides. These pesticides may enter the food chains and cause many problems. Now let us see how these poisonous chemicals enter the food chains. The pesticides enter the plant bodies in two ways. One, when the pesticides are sprayed, the leaves, they absorb the pesticides into their bodies. And two, the insecticides that fall on the ground mixes up with the soil and absorbed by the plant roots along with water and minerals. Sometimes the pesticides that are mixed with the soil seeps down and contaminate the groundwater. Sometimes due to heavy rains and floods, these pesticides reaches the water bodies like ponds and rivers. Then these pesticide and insecticide residues enter the bodies of aquatic plants and animals of that pond. In this way, these chemical pesticides and insecticides enter the food chains. If a pond is contaminated by pesticides and insecticides, they enter the bodies of aquatic plants present in that pond. The amount of pesticide residues increases if we go up in a food chain. Let us see how it happens. From the same pond, a snail may eat many such polluted plants in its lifetime. So these poisonous chemicals enter the body of the snail. Then the amount of chemical deposits in the snail is obviously higher than the chemical deposits in each aquatic plant. Now, fishes eat such contaminated snails in a very large quantity in their lifetime. Then these fishes will get more chemical deposits into their bodies. Consider the next organism in this food chain is man. Man who usually stays at the top of the food chain. If a man consumes such contaminated fish in large quantity, all the chemical residues present in the bodies of the fish enter the body of the man. In this way, the pesticide and insecticide residues, they get deposited and accumulated in our bodies. This phenomenon is called biological magnification. Every day, we use many food ingredients like rice, wheat, sugar, milk, meat, vegetables. All these things we source from either plants or animals. Pesticide residues from these ingredients enters our body. Even though we wash our food ingredients thoroughly and even though we cook them properly, we cannot completely remove the pesticides from them. Moreover, unfortunately, our body cannot detoxify these chemical residues completely. Our body cannot excrete them also. Hence, they remain in our body and causes various health problems. Okay children, this is all about the biological magnification and its impacts on our health. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. For more interesting NCRT concept videos, please subscribe to Great Booster channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.